All right, guys and girls. In this one, we're going to be driving the truck. I've been waiting for it for a while because the carburetor that was on here just wasn't no good. So it's time that we finally addressed all the problems. We did. There's some videos of me actually putting this Holly Sniper and the intake on it. Uh, it's cut into two different pieces. There's a part one, part two. So if you want to check those out, I'd appreciate it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe on those videos. Tell me what you think about them. But uh, we're going to get this, this old girl fired up. We're going to see what she does.
open up the secondaries and it would never have enough vacuum for anything. This thing is mean compared to what it was. What's my temp at now? 176? Yeah, it's staying there. I'm very happy. We'll open her up. Give her a little, little souse. check here see if there's some carnage stuck in the back of the truck and eh, not much to report on that side eh, got a little bit a little fuzzies man, those bfg 35 inch mts man they're they're sticky nothing leaking that's where i overfilled it earlier i don't see anything fresh I never would have guessed to have that much of a change just by throwing some aftermarket bolt-ons on there. Staying at 185. I'll cut you guys for about three minutes. I'll let it run here on the side of the road and see if she comes back down. I'm going to leave all the, the parts and everything in the listing below. So if you're planning on doing this to your square body or any other big block, I'll also try to find a clip of it running and driving before with the carburetor on it for you guys. And listen to her so, man. Shoo. She don't talk quite as much as that one. That one's rowdy, but. Shoo. Thank you. Might as well pop the hood and see if everything's where I left it. See if my spaghetti got sucked into a belt. Ah, we're coming up. I'm not too mad that it's coming up. Like I said, I've got a I got a 195 degree thermostat in this truck, so 
I kind of expected it to rise. Well, we got pressure in the system and there ain't no leaks. I'll probably have to top it off. I'm sure I burped out something on that little rip. But I could not be happier. Yeah, she's staying solid. I think that what's happening is that thermostat isn't letting them fans pull any more heat out of it. Because that's a 195, which means it's not opening all the way to get enough flow through the radiator to let the fans do what they're supposed to do. So in the next video, I'm going to get a 170 and put that in there and see if we have a difference. But I'm 99% I'm sure that's my choke right now, which is what's letting my temp rise, which is fine. And yes, I, I never put the bolts in, which I told you guys I was going to. It's just my scripts. But. All right. Yeah, it's just hanging out. It's not getting hotter, so. I'll catch you guys in a minute. Well, that's going to be the end for this one. I know it was a little wild, and I got kind of excited there. And, you know, I, I said it a while ago. That was a free motor. Someone was getting rid of an RV for free. That was a 35 foot RV with an old 454 in it. So I had zero dollars, it was a gamble. I took the old 350 that was in there. It's only got 44 or 46,000 miles on it, original to the truck, I'm the third owner. Um, I've got documentation where she sat on a army base, I believe, and then it was sold to a military guy. Um, I'm not a military guy. I think it was Army and then Navy. Um, I apologize if I don't know all the terminologies for that. I never enlisted. Uh, I'm sure some of you out here watching this serve the country. I do thank you. But those two fellers let it set on base. One of them painted a bunch of stuff OD green. One of them likes red and yellow. But the motor was tired from sitting. I think it had two bad cam lobes from just, I would assume, sugar rust that had formed on the cam lobes and then either them firing it up to move it or me driving it, it ended it. So we pulled it out, threw that big block in it, put some bolt-ons, uh, the Fitech sniper, or the Fitech surge tank, the sniper, the JEGS intake, uh, a couple of cheap relays, which I need to tidy up. Nothing under there is permanent. A lot of that stuff is going to get moved. But for the time being, so that I can have my truck back and at least get where I need to go, because that is my daily, that's what it's gonna look like for now. now. You guys can kill me in the comments if you want to. I understand it's not great looking. I will get rid of the vice grips before I drive it to work. Um, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> that, was, that was around the block purposes only. But uh, tell me what you think in the comments, guys. Do you love it? You wanna see more driving content? This S10 with this uh, with this 60 over flat, uh, flat top motor in it, uh, Big Mother Thumper Cam, she's ready to go except brake lines. So all we gotta do is film putting the brake lines on it and uh, off to the races with it. We can drive it, have a good time. Um, like I said, throw it down below, give it a like, sub, throw me a comment. Uh, subscriptions, I would really appreciate. Uh, if you guys can help me get to a thousand subs, I can start putting ad monetization in the videos, which means I can do more of this for you and me. Um, right now, everything's out of pocket, so. I'm doing what I can. I'm trying to entertain you guys and give you something worth watching. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the ride on this one. Catch me on the next one. Thank you.